Boy, I do be loving this category of machine. It's the greatest prize of all these really fast, tiny, power efficient processors is that you can have like a GTX 1660 PC in your hands with dingus controls ready to go with like a screen that if you made full size, you wouldn't complain as a family TV. And due to it just being a PC, like you can literally do whatever you want with it. Like I've had this plumbed into a display, keyboard, mouse. You can even put in external graphics adapters <laughs> and you can just straight up live out of this. This is actually like a laptop substitute. Not that I want that. I'm really just looking for a handy pick up and go gaming device. I've said it before, I'm trying to get into gaming. Social media is not as much fun as it used to be. You're just learning so much stuff constantly like just endless scrolling that like you feel exhausted laying in bed with your phone and it's nice to get away from things and just throw yourself into a different world for a while like Skyrim it's always Skyrim <laughs> and there's my biggest issue with this device it runs on Windows I mean it is cool how like ROGs put their own like OS on top of it like it's nice you know so there's Pogo oh and Tuk Tuk Extreme Simulator but at her heart mate she's just a, a stinking Windows 11 PC and uh, I'm gonna blur all this rubbish because uh, just a little swipe and you could have mainstream news smash down your eyeballs some of the most biased like absolute crap that I'd never want to see and I've actually gone in and like deleted and said don't show don't show don't show don't show and it just comes back immediately there's like paid ads all through it even though the software isn't free it's such a bummer is that I love the whole concept of PCs building and playing with them you know and then this idea of it being portable and whatnot Windows XP and Windows 7 were, were great because they just let you do your thing that's why Vista was terrible. It didn't. I, I know you can just live in like the, the inbuilt software sort of thing, but then every now and then you'll turn it on and Windows goes, Oi, you aren't using Microsoft 365. <laughs> I've heard rumors that like new versions of Windows are going to give you more control and all those things. Well, I'm just going to move on now though. Enter in this guy. Wiles in Canada. I didn't waste the opportunity. You can't get the new Steam Deck OLED here in Australia. And you know, Steam didn't even want to sell it to me, even in Canada. I, I very kindly was given access to a Canadian address to mail it to. I was in Canada on my phone, like ordering it. So like, well, geolocation, he's in Canada. I did all the other settings and nope. As soon as my payment details came in, it just went, no. I had to buy this one off of Linus Media Group. They sold me the one that they had and they've ordered another. Thank you very much. That's way too stinking cool of you. And before we can look at it, I mean, anyone see my other channels, I'm, I'm so sorry. We have to enter boring time. We're in the weeds real bad. But mate, when it comes to controllers, there's like the two popular styles, which is PlayStation style, the two in the middle, or the Xbox style like this. But these took a long time to develop. I mean like, mate, first ever PlayStation controllers, it was just D-pad and action buttons. It was the 90s, mate. People didn't know where 3D was going. A lot of stuff was still 2D, we just needed that. You see where they added the thumbsticks, it still prioritizes the D-pad and action buttons, and these are just here if you want them. But now it's just become iconic, and honestly, you get used to it, it's, it's fine. And uh, these DualShock 3s feel like toys compared to the latest controllers. <laughs> well, I mean, mate, look what Nintendo came up with in the day. They had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the first ever like analog joysticks there is. But you see, they gave you the D-pad and the action buttons in the normal locations, but gave you an extra dingus to be like, well, what if you want the, the analog thing? Then you play like this. <laughs> because yeah, again, they didn't know which way games were going. And that's led to the Xbox. You know, 2001, that guy came out and where they've put one of the thumbsticks right there and the action buttons here with this guy just being out the way if you need it. And again, it doesn't feel that weird. Honestly, like, no no matter which way you go, you just get used to it. And so much of it has just boiled down to these configurations. Except no one talks about the superior configuration. The Wii U configuration. <laughs> I had a Wii U. That's how I know it's terrible. No one bought them. Whoa, collect a console of the future. I mean, I love it. It's such a nugget. But they nailed it. Hey, thumbsticks on top. That's, they nailed the controller with a screen in it. To me, it's so natural feeling. You can see the ROG is an Xbox, which is very wise since it is like a new built PC, so it's very native and it works great. Well, uh, this old mate is not Windows. And lo and behold, it has the Wii U controls. Unbelievable, and even better, look how they've crammed the controls right up against the sides. I know the Steam Deck chassis's been out for a while, but this is my first proper experience with it. It's stinking huge, and it's stinking comfortable. Oh, it just makes sense, and it's just right there if you need them. The screen isn't as high resolution, but it's still like 90 frames, and, but it is much bigger. And it's bigger on the OLED than the original one. So let's uh, boot it up. Oh, okay, look, it's still in Skyrim. <laughs> 
This is my favorite thing about this. It just so casually turns on and off. It, this has been on standby for days. The inbuilt OS on this reminds me of like the Nintendo Switch, where it's really polished, it feels bespoke, it's like it's meant to be like this. Does Snakey Bus work? Go Snakey Bus, go. I must play Snakey Bus. I mean, it says that it's not sure if it runs, because I mean, that's the thing. This guy is Linux. I mean, it warms my heart to see such an awesome mainstream product pushing Linux gaming, because it means that only a matter of time before it's on desktops. Oh, give it to me. Yeah, Snakey Bus. Had oh, yeah. We've got to pick up the people and take them to the station. That's it. And that's how the game works. Only it's the game Snake as well. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Get the people. Oh dear, you see, the, the bus is getting longer. Oh no. This, this bus be getting long. <laughs> oh dear. Oh mate. It's alright, we'll worry about that later. Where's the bus stop? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, it's alright. We'll just get over my own bus here. Oh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. no. Yes. That's alright. We'll go, we'll go down. Ah, this bus is becoming an issue. <laughs> um, okay. We're, ooh, that's good. Okay, station. Station. No. Gotta suss the fly cam, though. <laughs> Man, like, this bus was a handful. And she was everywhere. Is this jump still here? Oh, yeah, you betcha. Yeah, that's a long bus. Oh my goodness, I played so much Katamari on the airplane, like <laughs> 15 hours of Katamari. This is such a great game and it plays so good on this. Get the irons. Yeah, look out for the bear. Get the fish. Watch out for the dog. Ah, pigeons. Look at all these telephones. Who would put these here? I'm just gonna roll them up, because that's the job of this game. It's funny people watching me play these old games go, that's all you do with new hardware. Well, it's like, well, new games should stop sucking as much. But, I mean, speaking of good modern games, mate... <sighs> Baldur's Gate 3. I never played the other Baldur's Gates, mate, but they say that you can just jump straight into this. It's meant to be epic. I've never gotten into this yet. I'm ready to, and like, yeah, I'm actually like pretty pumped. Yeah, it's meant to run awesome on this. So, you know, I hope it does. <laughs> I seriously, there are so many amazing older games that just smash anything coming out now and that they're worth going back and playing. Counter him. Yo, oh, get, take that penguin. Now we're gonna attack the Muppets. Go, Mr. Wayne. Get, this plays great. <laughs> it's so good. Well, what a sick console. Look at me, me skull on, mate. Doing terrible. No. Oh. Ugh, I got it. I got it. I got no. Oh, you know, shout out to the hard case that you get, because, like, it's stinking great. <laughs> like, this is proper. You can stuff it into your backpack, no worries. It's got that as well as a zip and the handle. This was strangely useful, because I actually wore it over my arm through all the airports I had to dig through. It was really handy, except don't pull it on too much. All the stitching will come out. So maybe a little more stitches valve. Uh, the ROG, you can buy a case. It doesn't come with it. And it's not bad. It's okay, but it's, you know, it's pretty soft and pliable. It's nice to have any case, to be honest. But um, this is actually fantastic. Uh, I do wish this kind of empty area here, if it was actually like a soft area to put earbuds or something in, or, and like a USB-C cable or something, that feels like dead wasted space to me. But that's my only complaint. Oh, Ice Man! But here's the best bit, mate. Yeah, she's at like a bespoke little gaming machine where it's all super cool, super smooth as gravy, mate. And you can switch to the desktop. I love that this is a mouse and this scrolls. It's got like haptic little motors or something in that buzz and click and it's so good. It's a computer and I honestly have a setup at home that plugs this into the display, the keyboard, the everything. And you know, I've got my proper gaming machine here, which I do my streams on. I actually feel like I have peace and quiet on this. Like mainstream everything isn't barking at me through it. It's a beautiful thing. Sure, the ROG's got more power, but I love seeing Linux getting its foot in the door like this. Uh, it does have its limitations if there's like stuff that only works on PC. But I mean, I cancel my Game Pass, you know, after about three weeks because I only got it for Starfield and I put 15 hours into Starfield and got bored of walking around on the planets on Starfield with just the same old animals every single time on Starfield. Yeah.
I'm gonna go back to Skyrim. And, you know, if you see the reviews on this, you know, it's got the bigger screen, the battery lasts longer. I mean, the OLED is so good. You know, playing this at night in bed, like when things are black on screen, it's the mouse, the, the touch surfaces, the Wii U thumbstick location. There's extra buttons on the back. You really can just grip it like this. I, it's such a great design. I love it. I'm all in on the Steam Deck. Hey, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to these patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate. Because if you want more of my vids, there's my car channel garbage time. Then I've got the drum thing. And there's Hello, I'm Gaming. And, and it's, you know, there's so much. I'm float playing. I'm streaming. There's little extras there as well. Some Canal Vog stuff. And, and that's it. And, you know what, mate? You know, ugh, I'll see you all next time. Frank's in shed. Look how dull she is. Look at those spoopy blue eyes. That's because she's got like skin over eyes, no eyelids. Frankie's breathing, she knows I'm here. Yeah, and that's fluid in between the layers, pushing itself apart. And that's what the blue is. And then it's gonna clear up and she's gonna wrap it off and then probably do a massive poo. Goody.